little background search, and I thought St. Louis was primarily it, it was primarily run by uh, by Sam Mushnick. Uh but I realized there was somebody before him that was kind of his mentor, from what I've read, yeah. by the name of uh, his name was uh, Tom Pax. Can you give us a little background on on Tom? Well, Tom Pax was the original St. Louis promoter, and there was a there was a company or a, the organization at the time was called the National Wrestling Association. Yeah. Um, you mentioned Tom Pax, so I just happened to think, well, if you mention his name, I am going to, uh, I've got it written down here, his, if I can find it real quick. Okay. Well, it isn't even really important. His, his real name was not Tom Pax. It's a, a long name from Greece where it was shortened. We, we don't need to really go into that. Okay. And it, they settled on Tom Pax because, you know, it makes, it sounds better. And the same is true for Sam Butchnick, by the way. Uh, his real name was, uh, I believe it was Jesus or. Uh, Jesus. A, yeah. How do you say that? Jesus. A, Jesus. Yeah. See, I always get mixed up with those. Yeah. yeah I, it, I think his real name was Jesus. Oh, wow. And they okay. just realized that, you know, instead of introducing somebody uh that way we'll, we'll call him sam so sam much you said muchnik i'm uh, sorry I think yeah. the general no 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 that's why we're here we 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 learned this the general pronunciation was muchnik muchnik okay just just more more the way it looks so yeah. sam he worked uh he basically he was a, a newspaper reporter okay and our, he loved baseball sam muchnik and he was a reporter in St. Louis, and he started working around Tom Pax, kind of working in a position where he'd be, you know, helping out the promoter and different things. Mm -hmm. Well, as he's doing this, he's learning. And he eventually, he lost his position at the newspaper he was at. But Sam, during this time, was a very, very respected and loved individual. He was a guy that was always considered fair uh the people that he worked around and worked with in the sporting world they they enjoyed him they trusted him they loved him so doing this uh working in tom pack's office sam and tom eventually had some differences between them and as far as philosophy and that sort of thing and sam decided you know he was going to try and promote wrestling opposition to him yeah. well in doing this this was one of the old old school promotional wars. <laughs> <laughs>